He never ran a cartel. Cartel is a group of similar companies or groups that join together to control prices and limit competition. Like El Chapo or El Mencho. They're illegal in the United States and much of the world, but some... He was never a high-profile couple. He designated Mexican drug cartels as the greatest criminal drug threat to the USA. Mexican drug cartels rose to prom... Was very, very much respected in Mexico and with very, very high people. ...prominence in the 80s and 90s. The most powerful ones extend beyond the Sinaloa cartel, once led by the notorious El Chapo. The cartel's main motive? Money. We're talking billions. As drugs go north, fueled by demand, weapons and cash go south. The drug seizures at the border increased from 2010 to 2018. The cartels act like sophisticated businesses. They employ chemists, financial advisors, and assassins. Let's get into this video. Drugs, money, mansions, and private jets. A myth is being created around the narco culture. Narco culture has gone mainstream and can be seen in various areas like music, religion, soap operas, fashion, and language. But it's not all the pretty roses people like to see. Join me as I tell you the truth behind cartel life. This is narco culture. Hey, what's up guys? My name is JC. I am Ron Strong. If you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss nothing. If you're part of my crew, mi familia, mi raza, you already know. Subanse la suburban. Subanse la suburban. Welcome to another episode of Chicago Cartel Life. Wait, Cartel Life. While this, while this guy was not considered to be a narco, this guy goes back to like the narco of the narco days. Carlos Quintero. You know the big, big dudes that set pretty much the blueprint for what all the cartels are now. Uh, that's how far back this guy goes and his history, his word, his just everything he's done. But this, 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 this is the thing. But this, 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 this is the thing. He's been providing a service to cartels not just one cartels for many many years and at the end of the day this service is more important make more money actually actually or how the gringos say great wealth so he's had relationships with the Sinaloa cartel he's had a relationship with the Jalisco cartel and he's had relationships with other cartels. So, what does that tell you? That the service that he provides, one of the best guys in Mexico. So a lot of organizations use his services. He had 42 companies, he had real estate, he had businesses, uh, he was a manager for singers, athletes, football players, I mean, you, I mean, you name it. He was pulling in that money. There's a lot of money in Mexico. A lot of money, trust me. Don't believe the hype. <laughs> money that comes in dirty comes out clean at the other end with this guy's service. <laughs> His character was always a notice because obviously he looks like, I mean, what, what does a drug dealer look like? Or a cartel member? They're like this, or like this, or like that. Or like this, like what, what does a drug dealer or cartel member look like? They're saying that he got away with his appearance because he looked like an older, I guess like a tata, like a grandfather or, or like, I don't understand. I mean, this is why it's so, it's so bad to judge people by their appearance, how they look. Most of the time when I go to the store, people think that I just got out the pen. No, I got out four years ago. So his character went on notice for many, many years, obviously since the 70s. So this allowed him to actually, you know, do some work too for himself. So he was placing, you know, tons and tons of cocaine also in the US because he's been wanted by the US for a very, some time now. In Mexico, he was wanted even before the US. So he had been in and out of prison in Mexico, but for some reason, Hat was able to fly under the radar even though his his cases in Mexico were drug cases. So this man had businesses with several cartels. We are talking about Raul Flores Hernandez El Dio. They've been looking for him since like 1983. And I guess now because the US actually stepped in 
and said, yeah, let me get that. Extradition is real. And for a lot of these guys, oh, trust me, they find out that they're going to the US, they are shitting in their pants because they know that prison is uh, prison in the US. <laughs> I mean, yes, you know, there's, there's, there's worse places. I mean, at least in, in, in the U.S. you have clean clothes, clean food, uh, shit to read, stuff like that, you know, but a lot of lockdown, a lot of violence, you know, there's, there's a lot to it too, but there was a lot of violence and a lot of drugs and a lot of everything in the uh, Mexican prison, so, I mean, just stay the fuck out of prison. Nobody wants to come to U.S. from Mexico. I just put it like that. I think that's why my friend Ricardo stayed over there and did the whole fucking 15 years that he did. <laughs> he was able to drink every weekend and have sex. But the U.S. stepped in, extradited. They said, come on, let's go. You have some charges in the United States. His charges actually in the United States are not that bad. Uh, possession would attempt to distribute five or more kilos of cocaine. So it's not like, you know, El Chapo trial. It's not like, a, a, it's not a huge, huge case, but he's still going to get some time. Like I say it all the time, guys. Don't sell drugs. No matter if you've been out the game like this gentleman was, because they're saying that he had been out the game for years now, and they just popped him just because, you know, the United States had that paper somewhere on their desk or Mexico. He, he pissed somebody off. I mean, you name it. Don't think that just because you've been good, you're good. No. Just be good, and you'll be good. Just... Just stay off the streets, man. Stay, stay away from selling drugs. Stay away from doing anything that would be, bring harm to you or your family. Because at the end of the day, life is too short, man. You don't want to spend it in prison. <laughs>